Hola everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's recipe, I'm making a breakfast quesadilla for you. We're gonna have some eggs in there, some chorizo, which is a Spanish uh, sausage, and we're gonna do some sweet potatoes and onions. It's gonna be delicious, guys. And we're gonna top it, I'm gonna top it with some homemade guacamole that I've already made. I have a video for that if you wanna know how to make it. It is delicious. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to get the best flavor in this quesadilla right after this. First off guys, we're gonna need some tortillas. I'm using flour tortillas for this. I've got a yellow onion here, coarsely chopped, some pork chorizo. You can get that in any supermarket. A sweet potato, that's organic. We'll need some eggs. I'm using Monterey Jack cheese right over here. You can use any good melting cheese that you like. And we'll need some butter. All right, so to start off our recipe, I am going to cook the chorizo. I have it right here. I got my frying pan on medium heat. Well, actually it's on low. Let me turn it up a little bit. And I cut off the end of the um, chorizo here and then I'm just gonna squeeze it out. I'm not making very much today, just you know, a couple of quesadillas. So I'm gonna put that in the pan. This needs to be cooked, guys, it's raw, so make sure you handle it carefully so you don't have any cross-contamination. And I'm gonna cook this with the onions once it gets going. In the meantime, we've gotta cook our sweet potato, right? So the best way to do that, and there are a variety of ways, you can put it in the oven at 425 for about, oh, 45 minutes or until it gets soft. Or you can do like I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna poke some holes in this. I'm grab my fork here, and so it doesn't explode. And I'm just gonna put it in the microwave for about four minutes or until it's just soft. All right, so now that I've spread out the uh, chorizo, I'm gonna add the onions to this. They give it some really good flavor. And we're gonna cook this for, you know, about 10 minutes or so. So here's my sweet potato. Um, you just wanna cook it just enough so it's soft, so when you put your fork in, you know, there's not a lot of resistance. You don't want it to be overly done or mushy, because then it's, you know, it doesn't stay chunky. Now our chorizo's coming along here. The onions are getting nice and soft, that's what we want. And this is just about done. We're gonna let it go a couple more minutes. And while I'm waiting, I'm gonna cut up the sweet potato. All right, guys, the chorizo is done. I've got it sitting right back here, just staying warm. Now it's time to work on our eggs, and once we get the eggs going, we're ready to put this whole thing together. So I'm just gonna put my eggs in a bowl here. I've got my pan here, the ceramic pan over medium heat. I'm gonna put a little bit of butter in the pan. Once that butter melts, we'll add our eggs. And I'm gonna add in the, some of the sweet potatoes. I'm just gonna mix that together. And then I'm just gonna cook my eggs up, scramble them nice and gently. Like I said, I'm on medium low heat here. All right, that's looking good to me. I'm gonna turn the heat off. Now we're ready to put our quesadilla together. Now guys, one thing I have to suggest to you Please use butter to make a quesadilla. You, it is gonna taste so much better if you do. Uh, some people don't put anything, they do it dry. Some people put oil. I'm telling you, butter is where it's at. So I'm just gonna put some on here and spread it around. Take your flour tortilla, set it right there in the middle, and then we'll just start adding ingredients. So for this, I just wanna sprinkle the chorizo and onions around. I probably should have put a little bit of cheese first, but I'm gonna put a little bit right now. This will help make this stick. Now we're ready for the sweet potatoes and the egg. Then you're gonna to wanna to top it with some more cheese so that everything kind of sticks together. And you notice I didn't go all the way out to the edge because the cheese is gonna melt and get out there all by itself. And I'll put the, uh, the top tortilla on. Now what I like to do is take a little bit more butter on top. Not too much, just a little bit. It'll melt while this is cooking. So it gets, you know, the butter gives it the best flavor, guys, and it helps to make it brown up nicely. Anybody wanna make any wagers whether or not I can flip this quesadilla over without dumping all the ingredients? Now if we look underneath, it's starting to get brown. It's getting there. I'm not intimidated one bit. I'm just gonna go for it. 
All right, guys, I'm going to show you the bottom here so you can see how nice and golden brown that is. Cross your fingers, everybody. All right, guys, here's our beautiful quesadilla. It is a beautiful golden brown color. And I've got my, uh, my guacamole right here, and I put some plastic on it to keep it from turning brown. This other container here, I have some yogurt. Now, you could use, you know, sour cream if you want, but I didn't have any, so that's what I'm using. All right, guys, let me cut into this just so I can show you. It's got that nice crispiness to it. Can you hear that? Here we go, guys. Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah, you're going to love it. Now, what I like to do is, is uh, I'll cut this up into pieces. And of course, our delicious guacamole. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed my recipe. I hope you give it a try. If you do, you know, hashtag me over on social media, Rock and Robin Cooks, and then I'll get to see what you guys have made. So thanks again for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you know, you can do that. We'd love to have you by clicking the subscribe button below the video and on the screen here. So uh, do that and you'll be notified every week when a new video comes out and uh, share the video for me. I really appreciate when you do that. So thanks so much for watching everybody. We'll see you next time.